Hello guys, this is Manu from Tech Freak and in this video I'll be showing you how to unlock your bootloader. So unlocking the bootloader does void your warranty so do this at your own risk. Sometimes if you don't do the procedure properly, you might end up um, heartbreaking your phone or your uh, phone might get into boot loop. So do this at your own risk and if you follow the procedure perfectly, there will be no problems at all. So in the settings you have to go to the developers options so if you don't have the developer options enabled go to the about phone and <clears throat> here you will have the build number so tap on the build number for 5 to 6 times and you will get a pop up saying that your uh, developer options have been enabled so uh, I am not running on the stock rom now I have an exodus uh, so custom rom so it's the same with uh, custom and uh, stock rom so now uh, if you have the developer options enabled tap on it and uh, go into the usb debugging and uh, enable the usb debugging so as you can see mine is enabled so once you have done that uh, the only thing you have to do is now uh, you'll have to connect your phone to the uh, first you need to put it into uh, the bootloader mode you know how to do that press the volume down key and the power button at the same time and uh, you will uh, load after you have switched off your phone you have to press the volume down key and the power key to boot into bootloader mode so once you have done that you will have to connect the t uh, device to your pc and the next step i will be showing you on the pc so let's get over there hey guys so we have connected the phone to the pc so after you have done that you'll need to download the files from the description that I've uh, uh, provided so download those uh, unzip the file and you'll find two files in it uh, first one is the minimal ADB and fastboot tools and the other one is the Motorola drivers so install both of them and then uh, after you have installed them uh, from the PC you need to go to the local disk uh, see where you have your uh, windows files so there go to program files in program files you will find a folder named minimal adb and fastboot so open it and in this file um, press shift button from the keyboard and the right mouse button and uh, a dialog box will open so from the dialog box select open command window here so once you click on it um, a, a command prompt opens so from the command prompt you need to type the uh, from uh, command fastboot devices to check whether your phone is connected so let me do that so as you can see my phone is connected the it shows that my phone is connected now yeah the other command is fastboot uh, fastboot is a single word so fastboot o e m o e m m space get underscore unlock s underscore data and then hit enter so you will get a, a bootloader code so you will need to copy this code now so let me just select the code so once you uh, selected the code um, you have to copy the code yes um, right click won't work over here so you need to press ctrl plus c and uh, I'll advise you to uh, paste it in a notepad. It'll be easy to remove all the bootloader the uh, messages. So just um, let me create a text document. So there you go. It's a text file. Uh, paste the code into this text file, and we need to remove the bootloader uh, whatever we have over there. So uh, after uh, removing those, we need to remove all the spaces and uh, make this. Uh, code into one single code so I'll show you in a minute there you go so remove all the unnecessary spaces and make the code into one single code so there you go now I'll just copy this code and paste it in the Motorola site so I'll, uh, I'll provide the site in the description go into that site and directly go to the step 6 okay there is no need to follow any other steps here, over here go to the step 6 copy the command and paste it into the uh, uh, box provided so once you have pasted it uh, click on the can my device be unlocked so let me paste it 
paste and uh, click on can my device be unlocked so if your device cannot be unlocked a message will uh, show up so as you can see there is no me message so now I can scroll down and uh, agree the legal agreement and warning I'll, uh, I agree and request unlock code so once you press this an unlock code will be sent to your email so let me just go to my email um, so here is the email uh, saying that uh, I have uh, this is my unique code so you can see the unlock code is uh, provided over here so copy the unlock code and uh, paste it into the uh, I'll show you just copy the unlock code and uh, this will uh, be the last step for you so just copy the unlock code go back to the command prompt and then type in the command fastboot space oem space unlock space and the code which you have got and hit enter so the procedure will start when you hit enter and successfully uh, your bootloader will be unlocked so uh, this that is it guys so that's how it is so uh, you can see my uh, thing says that it's failed remote failure because I've already um, uh, unlocked my phone so that's why it's showing a boot uh, failure so don't worry so next command you need to press is fast boot reboot to reboot your device normally so for any other further queries you can um, ask me in the description uh, ask me in the comment section below I'm sorry so if you have any uh, other video suggestions you can give me in the comment section so thank you for uh, um, watching my video guys like share and subscribe my to, to my channel and uh, thank you for uh, watching my video thank you